back end of the site, we're going to click on pages. Um, this is a website redesign, so there's already a home page made. But if there is no, well, even if you got a fresh install of WordPress, there should be a page already designed um, for you or at least already created for, I think it's either a sample, depending on who's hosting your website. Um, I think they have different pages that make uh, already be uh, set up for you, like the privacy policy page, sample page, home page, whatever that page may be titled. Um, but anyways, there's already a page created here. However, if you don't have a page, you can click on add new and it'll get you to exactly what I'm about to show you. So um, I'm going to go ahead and click on home. And if uh, here, um, this is just a side note. I do recommend adding a featured image to your pages. Um, this has nothing to do with technically with anything to do with Beaver Builder, but I do recommend adding a featured image to all of your pages because you can control when these pay when your web when any specific web page gets shared, you can um, you can control what image gets shown whenever you share a page on social when a, when a link gets shared on social media. Um, nevertheless, uh, we're going to click on launch Beaver Builder. All right. So now we are into the fun part. Um, let's go ahead and scroll up. This is the page that we're recreating. Now, mind you, there are going to be a few things that are changing. And for the most part, I'm going to go over all of those things um, while we're working on it. So the first thing is that th we're not going to use this image anymore. We're actually going to put a video background. I did a little bit of research and my cousin um, has like this graduate had this graduation video on her Facebook page. So I downloaded it. We uploaded it to YouTube and I'm going to show you how to do a video background. But first, we need to drag out um, a row. And actually, let me make this bigger just so that you can kind of get a better bird's eye view while you see everything that we're recording. There we go. So the first thing that I'm going to do is click on rows. I'm going to drag out a row. Um, and then from there, I'm actually going to go ahead and copy. Oh, it's not going to let me copy the text. Okay, let's go ahead and get a little crafty on how I'm going to copy and paste this information. All right. So from here, we're going to click on modules and we need to drag out a heading module. From there, I'm going to paste in that text and then I'm going to do a little bit of uh, HTML code because these two things need to be on two separate rows. I'm going to make that a H1 and then we need to grab this text, which is weird. It lets me copy this text, but not the other text. Let's click refresh. Oh, it's not going to let me copy it, but it'll let me write. Oh, this is so frustrating. <laughs> uh, let's see. Milestone learning preschool. Um, and then from here, we're going to drag. We're going to click save for the heading module. But now I'm going to drag out a text editor. Paste in milestone learning center. Paste in the address, click on save, and we're going to style this in a little bit. I'm going to drag out, let's see, how should I do this? Three rows, make that 20%, 21 is fine. Make this 21. What I'm about to do now is drag out the buttons that we need, the about and academics module you can see there's a button here and this is the about us module about us and it is a rounded button so we're going to click on so we've got about us um this is a unique type of website because this is a one page so this is a one page navigation i'll Kind of show you how to set everything up when it comes to one page navigations. Um, but I do need to. I do need to find out what this 
link is to milestone learning let me just uh let's go ahead and click done and publish i need to get to the back end of the site real quick i need to look at what these links are actually linking to so let's go ahead and go to setting or appearance menus all right home is fine so we got about admissions all of these start with a academics oh wow okay I'm no I'm mistaken academics administrations about all right so we actually need to do hashtag about hashtag academics Damn it. Oops, I completely. And then hashtag. What we are doing, hashtag camp life custom link. Hashtag. This actually should be fine. All right. So this hashtag is going to be referenced per each row that we design that it needs to link to. That'll make more sense um, as I design out the site because I'll show you where we're going to reference all of these titles. Um, and then you'll understand that a little bit easier. So how to make a one page navigation looks like this might end up being a little bonus piece. I'm actually going to remove this home link and then in create a new link home hashtag home and the reason what i just did is that that home link that was currently on the site that was like a dedicated link so if they ever clicked it and they were at the bottom of the site it would have completely refreshed the page whereas this link will have them just scroll up and you'll see all of this stuff work here um as we go through continue to go through this tutorial um so from here let me go ahead and go back to the front end of the site click on beaver builder we're right back where we were so now i can apply um for this particular uh url tech yeah i can just do hashtag about us or about that's what i did um about and that link will link to the about page here. So instead of doing a traditional link, you just wanna do hashtag about, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let's go ahead and click on save. And I say believe, I haven't made a one page navigation in so long. We actually can test it out. Let me go ahead and click on the wrench icon. This is how you set up a one page navigation. So. Mind you, we, you know that we've already created, we've added that that pound home, pound about, pound admission, so on and so forth, right? So how do you get that pound to reference a certain section on your site? You ask all the right questions. So you'll click the wrench icon here. You'll click on the advanced tab that shows up and you'll wanna scroll down and where it says ID, you'll just wanna type in not the hashtag, but what you put after the hashtag, the same exact way, so home. We click on save. Let's go ahead, click, let's click on done and publish. Well, we can't scroll right now. Give me a few moments and we'll be able to see how that works. You'll be able to see that it works. We can't scroll up or down so you can tell that the link was trying to read it. Anyway, let's keep it moving and then you'll be able to see what I mean here um, shortly. So we've got the About Us um, button added. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that, drag that over here. And the next button we need to create is Academics. So we're going to click on the button. We're going to give it the academics title and instead of me having to uppercase this manually we can automate that by clicking on style and where it says text we can click on style and spacing or font yeah style and spacing and just click this transformation tool 
So then that way it can it'll automatically just know to upper to make everything uppercase in this button. Um, let's go ahead and make these a little bit closer. All right, so we're getting somewhere. Click on save. And now we need this is going to be almost a full width um, or full height um, row. So we're going to click the wrench icon. And if you notice over here to the left, there's a thing that says height. You can click this drop down and we can set the minimum height of this row. Click on minimum height. We're just going to click here and then you can drag this option. As you can see, it's getting wider. However, you can't tell how wide because you don't know where the navigation starts and ends but we'll we'll get that resolved here shortly let's go ahead and make it 750 and what else do we need to do so we need to make that text a little bit bigger and we need it to be white so we're going to click the wrench icon for the text come to styling uh, we're going to change the text color to white we're then going to choose um, the font size well we actually need to add a text shadow. Let's add a text shadow. Let's do six and twelve. Ooh, that's too much. Or not too much. Let's come here. Make that just a little a bit lighter. Then we're gonna do three and six. And then here goes the font size itself. So let's go ahead and make that seventy-two. Looks about good. And then we're going to come back here. This text needs to be white. Style. White. And then we're going to come to font. And I actually am going to keep the font the same. However, I want to make it bold. Let's go ahead and make that a 30. All right. Now, from here, we already have the video uploaded to YouTube. So this is the video here. Shout out to my cousin, Pamisha. She's right there. Uh, what we're going to want to do is just basically click the YouTube. We want to get the long link. I just trust, trust the long link a little bit better. Just going to exit out of that. And now how do you get the video in the back end of this row? Real easy. You click the wrench icon, scroll down. Now, if you remember the background, we can set the color, but this is also where we set the photo. So if we click none and go to video, the video options show up. And then where it says source, we just want to say YouTube. We want to type in the link or paste in the link. After pasting in the link, you'll see enable audio, no, and then that we can add a fallback image, which we're going to go ahead and use the initial photo that's here. So if this video does not play, uh, it'll show the fallback image, which is the current image that we see here now. Um, from there, you, know, you can see the videos already uploaded and all that kind of good stuff. But we do need to add maybe a little bit of an opacity um, to the background so that this text doesn't doesn't get lost in the video. So we're going to scroll down just a little bit and it'll say background um, overlay. It's going to click here. I'm going to click this option here. So it's a full fledged blue. We don't want it there. We can drop the slider down just a little bit. And for the most part, we now have, click on save. And for the most part, we now have basically the, the beginning of what we need for this particular site. Um, now that we can see this, I see that I want this to be a little bit smaller. The font size to be just a little bit smaller. And then I actually want to get rid of the padding at the top to bring that in just a little closer. And actually the bottom for those buttons. Click on save, and now we've got our first section of the site basically um, set up. If we click to the right and scroll down, now it's time to create the who we are section. All right, so we're going to come over here and do this, do exactly what we did for this part of the site over again, except it's going to be for the new section of the site. So we're going to click on row. We're going to drag out one column click the wrench icon let's do a little bit of styling so because now we're in this particular portion I like to add about 65 to the top and the bottom of my row 
<laughs> that little boy there. <laughs> uh, from there, let's drag out a heading module. And I'm just going to copy who we are. Paste that in there. Let's go ahead and make that an H3. No, H2 seems to be fine enough. Who we are. I want to center the text. All right, and that's basically it there. The next thing that I want to do is drag out a divider module, separator. Let's drag the separator out. And the separator is the blue color that we've been using. I say it's the same blue color as that background. So we're going to click blue there. Height, let's do three, just so it's a little bit viewable. And then let's do 6%. Let's center align it and it set the um, solid, which I think is pretty fine. I set the margins to negative 10 to get that a little bit closer to the text. I think that's it. So we'll click on save. Um, one thing that I do want to let you know is that you will not have to. Once you've set this up one time, I'm going to show you like a very easy way to just now just duplicate. Because if you notice, um, who we are and this little slider, this divider here, that's basically consistent throughout the site. So the having the orange text and the little blue divider, so that'll be consistent. And you'll see how easy it is to continue to replicate what you have for your website. Um, so anyway, we've got that. We need to get a this photo added with this text. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the text. We're gonna drag out two columns because we need to add an image to the left and text to the right. I'm going to go ahead go I'm going to go ahead and drag out a text editor. And for the most part, I'm going to click on text because I don't want this same styling to get applied to this particular site. And we're using two different fonts, so I'm going to paste that in there in the text option. I'm going to click back on visual and then make that that last statement bold. And actually because here I'm gonna make that where focusing on achievement begins so we'll we've got that set up so we're looking good there now we need to add this photo so I'm gonna click on save we're gonna drag out the photo module click on select photo this photo's already been added to the site so I'm just gonna select it boom so one thing that we do not want to do and that we've already talked about is that we can get this text to be centered with this photo. Click here, click column settings, equalize heights. Yes, and we want it to be centered. Oh my gosh. And you got to realize when I designed out this site, it's built with, with a, a plugin called Visual Composer. While Visual Composer is popular, yeah, and it did go through a recent update. This it, it was just me learning how to do that. It just it was not it was not pretty. It was not a good experience. Um, not to say that the plugin's bad, but it just wasn't a good experience. Um, I want to add a little bit of more padding to the bottom of this to kind of push this down a little bit. So we're gonna say from the bottom, let's do like a thirty-eight. Actually, let's do forty-five. Yeah. Click on save. And now we've got our section, right? The who we are section. Oh, and then what we, um, the who we are section, if I'm not mistaken, is the about section. So we actually want to come back here, click the wrench icon for this full row, go to advanced, and then we're going to put click on about. We're just going to type in about, click on save. I'm going to go ahead and click on done and publish for the time being because now I believe I can show you how the one page navigation works. I'm going to click on refresh. All right. So we've already got this set up. Now, when I click on about, you can see that it scrolls down to the about section. Right. And that's because we applied the hash, the pound about to the about title as the link. And then we gave basically the ID of about to this row. If I click on home, you can see that it scrolls back up to home. All right, one page navigation, real easy, real simple. There's really nothing hard to it. Um, so from there, let's go ahead and jump back into the Beaver Builder edit mode. Let's scroll down. Um, so from there, what I wanna do next is, what's the next row? Um, a message from our ML 
P board of directors. So I'm going to copy that. Now, once again, we're talking about working smarter, not harder. So I'm just going to duplicate exactly what you see here. This um, duplicate option here, button here, basically duplicates that row. I am then going to click on that wrench icon and paste in my title. Boom, real easy, right? Um, from there, I'm also going to copy this text and we're gonna take this um, module and we're gonna drag it below. We're then gonna delete this row Scroll on down. I'm gonna we're gonna edit this column here. Let's go ahead and delete all the information that's in that text module. Come to text, paste, visual now. Let's go ahead and make that bold. And let's go ahead and make that bold. Actually make that a H3. There we go. Um, so from there, we're going to click on this option here. Um, this is the photo that we need to use. So let's go ahead and click on remove, select photo, select it. Do you see how easy this is? We're about to recreate this website in like, I mean, it, technically if I wasn't doing this video, we could have done knocked this out in probably like 10 minutes. Um, next row, schedule a play date interview. All right, so we'll come here. And we're going to replicate that row. Oop, no, we want to keep that. Where that's at, who we are. I just duplicated something somewhere, didn't I? Let's click it again. There we go, who we are. Let's drag that down there. We're going to click the text module again. Oops, let's not forget. about admissions all right so we skip over the it looks like this is all one section okay cool i just wanted to make sure that we did because every time we duplicate a row it's keeping that same navigation link um so schedule a play date interview we're going to go ahead and copy this text here click here we're going to do exactly what we've been doing we're going to delete the text paste it back in um, this is the new image that we need. Remove, select photo. Let's go ahead and place that photo in there. Now, what my cousin does not realize is that we need to go ahead and they do need to schedule a play date interview, right? So we need to go ahead and get some buttons in here. So let's go ahead and click that. And on the about us, Actually, we, we're going to go ahead and say call, and then what's the phone number? Here goes the phone number here. Scroll that back over. All right, so that's the phone number, but we need to make that link work, T-E-L colon phone number. So when they click that button, it'll trigger a phone call if they're on their phone. Um, or they can just see the text and they can just dial it straight from that area. Let's go ahead and click on duplicate that button again, which I really just could have duplicated the button right next to it. Hold on. Let's track out. Let's click on rows. All right, this is fine. From there, let's click done, publish. Let's go ahead and click on refresh. All right. So after the refresh, let's click back on Beaver Builder. I just did that because of that little error message. I didn't know what that was about. Let's click on rows. Let's drag out three rows here so that I can get that button in there, get that button in there. There we go. I can remove that row. All right, so we got the phone call, academics, and then we're going to um, say click on contact us. So let's see, academics. All right, 
So that button will link to the bottom portion of the website, right? So now we've got a, this is a little bit of just web design, you know, it says schedule play date, but we don't tell them how to schedule a play date, right? So now we do. There's a button and a phone, and a, there's a button to trigger a phone call and a button for contact us. Um, so we've done that. Now let's come back over here. Um, now we've just got this cool little parallax effect with the logo and stuff. So we need to recreate that. Let's go ahead and drag out another row. We're going to come here. For this particular section, we're gonna treat it just like we treated the uh, header option at the top. We're gonna to click this drop down, click on minimum height, and we are going to make that like a 460. Let's see, we'll see how that works. Um, we're gonna scroll down, click on background, click on photo. Click select photo. We're going to select the photo that we need. Cool. Add that in. We're then going to go to rows, and then I'm going to add another row to the side of this. There we go. All right. So we need an image, a header text, and the paragraph text. So let's go ahead and drag out a photo module. Let's click on select photo. White minimal logo one. I'm going to use that one. We want that to be left aligned. Let's click back on and click save. Let's drag out a heading module. We want to drag that. We want to type this in there. We want that text to be white. And then we want to copy that text, let's click save. Let's drag out the text editor module. Paste that text in and I actually providing a quality. Click on save. Oops, we need that text to be white. So let's click back on the module. Style, white text. And actually, let's get rid of the margin at the top. Click on save. Um, oh, what we didn't do is make it parallax. So let's scroll back down. We can get this same parallax effects where it looks like the boy in the background is moving. Um, click photo. Click, And then there's a parallax option right here. So let's reselect uh, that photo. And now... You can see the parallax effect there. But along with that, let's go ahead and make that section just a little bit taller. Let's maybe see what a 560 will do. Click on save. Huh. Let's come back here. There we go. Yeah, I like that. You can see more of them. All right, let's make that here. All right, so now we've got that section created. Now we need to create the the uniform section. What's going to be best? Let's go ahead and duplicate. We actually just duplicate the first section. So we'll duplicate that. Click here. And as you can see now, we're just literally just going through and just con basically just updating everything that we've already done, right? So we're here for this particular um, section. We need to add a text module right above this section here. So let's go ahead and click on modules, text. Paste that in there. by the students attire. And then what we're gonna do here, because I don't want this text to be so wide, you can add margin to just a, t a module. So I'm gonna add 100 to the, ooh, I probably need that, 150 to the left, 150 to the right. Basically I made that text come in just a little bit. And I actually think I need to do 200. 200. 
200. And then I want to center the text. And then from there, I think we're good. Now we need to recreate these two sections. So I'm actually gonna take this text module, drag it right up under there. I'm gonna duplicate that image and then duplicate the text module. You'll see why I did that. So first, let's go ahead and click on the image and we wanna get the milestone girls uniform. Let's click on remove, select girls uniform, save. We then wanna get the boys uniform image here, here boys uniform image and then we now need to get this text in there so um, i'm not going to do this whole button button thing that you see here now i don't think it plays any big major value in showing this blue and orange button thing what we are going to do however is copy the bullet points themselves and paste those in was that the girls? Yes. And I'm going to come here and do the same thing here. And if you notice, these images are no longer centered because the we have the center option um, active or the equal line height, equal column width um, option set to center. We actually want to go ahead and say, let's make that to the top. So now, no matter what size this is, these will be equal from the top down. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So we've got all of that. What we wanna do is duplicate this. Just drag that down there below. Purchase your uniforms online. Paste. We want to copy the duplicate, mean to copy, duplicate the divider, drag that down there. And then let's copy a button. Here, style, center the button. Purchase uniforms. Let me actually, I need to click on this. Open link and new tab. Because I do not know where that links to. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. Hope that link ends up working. So we've got that. Let's go ahead and retitle the button. Let's say... Purchase uniforms. Boom. Okay, awesome. Click the link. Purchase uniforms. So we've got that set there. And if we scroll down just a little bit more. So as you can see, we've got another parallax section. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to duplicate that parallax section. Scroll down, we're gonna say this time move column and we're just gonna move the whole column over there to the left or to the right. Click the wrench icon, remove, select a new photo for the background, which would be this one. We're gonna click on save. Oop, no, save again. Boom, got the other option added, right? Um, from there, we believe in children, so we just need to update the text. on that and then here as well click on save so that's now added if we scroll down a little bit more we're getting there oh man we're getting there um we gotta create that section now so what we're gonna do is duplicate that area Let's scroll right on down so we've got our primary curriculum and the photo to the left. So how are we gonna achieve this? We are going to move column and move that over here to the right. 
we are going to take this and drag that and the divider into the actual left column and get rid of that center one that was initially there. We're going to align the text to the left and we're also going to align the divider to the left, which will then allow us to copy that text and paste it here. And we're going to change this the um, 45 to what, like 15, actually zero. So from there, let's go ahead and just do what we've been doing. Copy and paste the, te the text, take home. And it didn't grab a styling, which is good. We, we need to get rid of these buttons. And now we can paste, uh, get that photo in. So let's click remove here, select photo. All right, so now we've got that photo there. We've got a uh, like a heading text in the center. Let's go ahead and duplicate that. Click here, paste in that text. Let's go ahead and do 32 at the top, 32 at the bottom, just to get some spacing. And then let's go ahead and drag out another two columns where I will then duplicate that photo. Click this wrench icon, click on remove. Just pick muscle man out of there. <laughs> and then let's go ahead and say, let's duplicate the column and get rid of this one. So instead of me having to copy, like duplicate all of those three individual modules, the heading text, the divider and the text, I can just duplicate the column and move the column right over here copy that information looks like we don't need even need that anyway we'll click here boom boom this is in the bullet point but we do want to click here column settings and we do want it to go to the center yes 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 I think we'll need to click done and publish to get that to set up. Um, from there, we have a MPL technology center. So we are then going to basically do the same thing again. Let's drag out another two modules. Let's copy the, or not copy, uh, duplicate that photo. We're going to remove it. Select the technology one. Where are we at? Where's the technology? Computers, 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 computers. There we go. Click on select. Let's go ahead and copy that. Drag that down there. MPL Technology Center. And I I mean, it, it. this is, when you've got a website like this, I mean, there's nothing really... This is like literally the definition of a brochure type website, meaning that it literally is just built to be uh, exactly what you see. It's more just, hey, let us tell you how awesome our preschool is and allow us to um, basically just take your inquiry. Come here, column settings, equal heights, yes, center, boom. Then we come down here to campus life. Let's see. Academics starts where our primary curriculum. So this whole section is academics. And then we've got this campus life section see how, which row would be best for that campus life center so i feel like we've got a section just go ahead and duplicate that one just drag that all the way down to the bottom all right change the text copy this text so remove that. 
gonna duplicate here. Well, no, actually, there was a. Where was the one? here we go? This is what, what this is probably the row we should have copied. Come here, campus life. Let's go ahead and get rid of that and get rid of that. Let's duplicate that text box, paste that in there. It's already italicized. Oop, no, that one did take the styling. Italicize and let's make it a little bit bold. Ooh, no. Never mind. <laughs> um, daily schedule download. So we need to duplicate a button. Duplicate. Let's paste that in there. Daily schedule download. Click the wrench icon. And let's go ahead and open a link in new window. And I'm opening it in a new window so that I can actually get the link to the PDF, basically. Click here. So that's basically a PDF that's on the back end of the website. So daily schedule download. We've got that. Scroll down. Oop, we are there. What? Campus life. That was quick. I didn't even know where that closed down. I felt like we had another 18 sections to go to. Uh, let's go to campus life. Click on save. And we're at the glorious contact us section, which in all honesty, we can actually duplicate that. Click on contact us. Campus life. Change that to say contact us. We'll take this information. Let's paste that in there. Oop, nope, don't want it to take that styling. Visual. All right, so um, we've got a few things that we need to do here. Um, we need to get a map, social media icon, contact form, which you already have created. Um, we should be fine. I mean, I, I'm not going to throw her for a major loop, meaning that I don't want to. I don't want to do anything too different. So let's go ahead and drag these two rows in. Um, let's go ahead and get this map added. Let me show you how easy it is to get this map added. You see where this, oops, something went wrong? Like, I'm like, why? Why? How, how is something wrong? It's your theme. We're using your modules, but something's wrong. We're just going to click on modules. Let's type map. Let's drag that module out. Place it there. Literally, we're just going to paste in the address, and we've got the address. And I wonder if I can type in milestone. Oh, and it pulled it up. <laughs> I didn't even know you can do that. I just tested that out, so it actually pulled the address up. That's cool. Anyways, we got the address pulled. I mean, the that pulled up. Let's say we want the height to be 275. Um, from there, let's just get this form. So actually, let me, I need to click on save. Let me click done and publish because I need to get a short code real quick. So let's go ahead and go to the back end of the site. Um, the website the form plugin that I use is Forminator. There's a free version. Obviously, you can see this one says Pro because there, there is a paid version. Um, copy short code. But Forminator, love them to death. Like probably one of just one of the best um, plugins for forms or the best if you ask me. I use them on all my sites. Um, along with that, let me go ahead and show you how this works. So we click on Home. Obviously, you see the Home. If we click on About, who we are. I didn't add admissions. However, academics is here. Campus life is here. Contact us is here. We can't scroll down any further. Oh, I didn't add the contact us yet. Anyways, let's go ahead and click on Beaver Builder again. Um, scroll all the way down to the bottom. Let me go ahead and click on text editor. Scroll that out. Paste in the short code. So now we've got our short code. Um, the next thing that we need to do 
is we need to get a social media icon added for Facebook. So let's go ahead and drag out an icon module. And from there, let's select icon. Let's type in Facebook. I like that one. Um, and then we actually need to get the Facebook link. Oh man, where's that link? Because she updated the Facebook link. Oh, let's go ahead and click done and publish again. <laughs> I did have it. I promise. Let's see. Let's go to smart. Smart crawl is the SEO plugin. Um, that I use a lot of people use Yoast and other plat plugins, but I, I mean, I, I just, in my opinion, I'm like, obviously there's differences to these plugins, which I'm like, cool, but I'm a member of what's called WPMU dev. And for the most part, it's a free plugin or it's included. It's a plugin included in it's a free, there's a free version and a premium version. And in my opinion, it does. 90% of 98% of probably what any other plugin does. So I don't have a problem with it. So we got the Facebook icon here. Let's go ahead and make that bad boy uh, 55. Oh, no, 45. 45 height. Let's see. And we need to get all of this information added. Let's go ahead and click on save. And then let's see icon group i want to make a list of that list um i'm trying to see if there's something we can do here because it looks like we could have did it with that facebook icon group what is that module so no we don't want to do that let's just go ahead and just do icon all right, so let's see how this looks. So here goes the address. We've got the address. Let's not make it bold. Ooh, why is it showing up bold? There we go. So we've got the address. Let's look up a uh, pin. So we've got the pin icon there. And you know what, as a courtesy, let's go ahead and just make that cl a clickable address. So we add the address. So if they click here, at the very least, that'll update. Style, that's fine, color hover. I do want the text, text color to be black I don't want that to change so we've got that that's pretty cool and I say pretty cool as if I've never used this before but typically I'm using like the more advanced modules so that's why I'm like cool so there is a somewhat of a solution to getting this thing to work so or getting this to work without having to use the the other modules um, we've got the more advanced modules so from there let's go ahead and click on this wrench icon replace Let's go ahead and click on phone, type in phone. Let's go ahead and paste in the phone number. And then I'm going to type in TEL colon so that this phone number can be clickable. Click on save. And then lastly, the coveted email address. So we'll come here. Let's type in email, text, paste that email in, uh, mail to, click on save, negative 10, just come here, all right. So we've got pretty much everything here. The last little bit of text we need is this text down here below. Let's duplicate that text box. Come here, scroll down, open it up. Boom. Did it take the styling? Nope. School age. So we've got all that stuff. So I, I mean, I believe we have all of our information in here. Um, let's see, we got home about admissions, academic, 
No, we didn't. Let's do contact us. Basically, what we're doing now is kind of like backtracking and making sure that we got all of our links added. So we got the contact us. We got the campus life. Um, this is the academics section. Admissions. All right, let's go ahead and click done and publish. Let's see if we got all of our URLs in here. So we got home. Let's go ahead and click on about. Okay, so admissions isn't set up. Academics is. Campus life is. Contact us is. And then the donate link does go to the donut page. Donut. Donate page. Man, we got the contact form. Oh, my cousin's going to be so happy. So, and I hope you're happy because now while there's still a few things that I that I'm going to personally get in here and update for the most part, you can see every they, this is how you lay out a website, a web page. It is super simple. Um and with Beaver Builder, it doesn't get any more simpler than this. Um let's see. But we do need to get the admissions link work. So that goes to schedule play date interview. Scroll down. Missions. Click on save. Scroll up. Let's click done and publish. And let's refresh. Hey, there we go. So, um, I think we've achieved greatness for the most part. Um, there's a few things that I think we need to improve on, um, such as there's no breakpoints, you know, when you get to certain sections of the site. Um, so what we'll basically end up doing is like probably changing the backgrounds of certain areas of the website just so that it's easier to like really when you get here down here to the second area. Like this is all the academic stuff, but then like the campus life and the contact us, it just it's too much. This, this isn't necessarily probably the best way to use white space um, in this particular area. But I guess I can show you what 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 I can attempt to do. Let's see for this background area for campus life, for instance. Let's go and scroll down. Click the wrench icon. Let's do color. Let's go ahead and use that blue, right? Come to campus life. We want that to be white. We want the divider to be white. We want the text to be, you guessed it, white, not orange. <laughs> white, and then this bottom text here to be white, right? Uh, let's click the wrench icon. Oh, I duplicated it. My bad. Let's go ahead and click the wrench icon. Let's do 75 top and bottom. Click save. So basically now you can kind of see like, okay, this is a section now. You get what I'm saying? Like this is a section um, versus it just looking like it's just floating information on its own. Um, and yeah, so I hope, um, this here kind of makes it easy for you to kind of understand like how the default of, uh, for specifically for my clients that are watching this, how you're, you can basically drag out modules, um, and edit those, edit those modules as needed. Um, I hope that you see how easy it is to create buttons, add images, add video to a background of a website. Um, yeah. So if you have any questions, uh, most definitely let us know. I hope this kind of impromptu tutorial um, does help as I did start recording this at four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I went to sleep early, didn't have anything pretty much to do. So I figured, hey, let's go ahead and work on a tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment on the YouTube video. And uh, ultimately, uh, and also, I want to include, 
If there's any other tutorial videos that you would like for me to create, please let me know. You can email us at info at uncommoninc.com or you can just simply leave a comment on this video and I'll be sure to take that into consideration into um, producing um, future videos specifically like hey I want to create a contact form like you did you know so we can do a contact form on this um, along with many other things so uh, just shoot us over an email or leave a comment on this video and we'll be more than happy to take a look and see what we can do about creating those tutorial videos um, you take it easy enjoy your day and um, I'll see you in the next one